Hello, everybody. You know what it is. It is another bright, sunshiny day in the Philippines. Panay Island. Yes, in the Ilo Ilo region. Region 6. So, today, Mel and I, we got up and we spent a little time at the beach. Um, we had to show where some boundaries are out there. Um, always a complainer around, you know, no matter what you're doing, always a complainer. Somebody's trying to say that my ramp was extending past the uh, boundary for the place here, but it's not. Um, we, the beach has eroded away. The beach has come closer. My boundary hasn't come closer. The beach has come closer. And the concrete marker still out there in the water, the column. Uh, uh, where it all used to previously be so I'm still well with inside that but we had to go deal with that down there at their office and I'm sure everything's just fine you know just some people they uh, maybe more time on their hands than they need well when we were down there doing that um, they delivered a truckload of cocoa lumber they didn't bring all of it just partial order so they have been here transferring it to the back let's go back there Miller is telling me here that this is only a partial order that this was I think 49 or 70 pieces he ordered yesterday which is still not going to be nowhere near enough but the, what this will be used is on a lot of the forms like they're about to do around the tie beams uh, forming up those base forms there at the ground on the concrete And meanwhile, yesterday also, they delivered more bamboo. So Arlie and one of Melinda's uncles is here working right now, adding a lot of additional bamboo support that's gonna help hold the uh, columns all up in place as we pour the cement. So um, they're working on that. Plus it's a place they get up and they walk around on those also. Now, the problem is that I don't have the heart to tell them is that some of that bamboo's got to come back down. They are stacking that bamboo in there and tying it the way they would tie it if we were going to pour just columns only and, and then put that beam around the top. But the way that we're doing it, pouring it from the ground up uh, in these forms, the way that we're doing it we don't need all that bamboo there so uh, it's it's like this uh, they don't understand they don't understand my method of what we're doing they kind of understand but not completely and they are set in their pattern of the way that they like to do things now for these uh, guys that are building homes here in the Philippines that they're just building it straight up just strictly the traditional way here that's all fine, but I'm not. So here's what I decided to do. I'm just not going to say nothing. Um, I'm going to pour what I can until we get up to where that bamboo's in the way. And then I'm going to say, see, we didn't need that bamboo here. And it'll take them just a few minutes to remove a piece here and there and um, get it out of the way. So. Um, Instead of causing a lot of mass confusion right now it's just gonna be I might lose just a little bit in labor but it's not that much and uh, then I'll just address that issue when that time comes and the bamboo can always still be used elsewhere um, so that's what I'll do meanwhile Joel's over here still making stirrups let's go check that so here we are with Joel the mild man of steel. Pinoy Superman can bend steel with his bare hands.
it's got these made up those are going the beam for the concrete floor and when we pour the slab part and these are the beginning ones for the wall So inside in here, Marvin, eh, I'll start that over again. Blah, 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 blah. So inside in here, we have Marvin playing with the mud. Yeah. <laughs> now, inside in here, we got Marvin. He is, this is Melinda's brother, and one of the many. He's the ugly one in the family. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Don't get in. <laughs> and uh, he is doing the skim coating on the bathroom in here. Hey, now remember my pipe right there. Yep. So he's um, he's doing the skim coating in here on the ceiling, which the ceiling is the only part that we're going to skim coat. This is an outdoor restroom. I'm not expecting this room to be perfect. Uh, Marvin is learning how to do this. He's not a well experienced person at doing skim coating. And I want him to get a little bit of time in of practice and learning. He worked with the guys in my garage in there and he learned a lot from them, but he's never worked on it like just solo alone. So I turned this loose with Marvin to let him work on it. I don't bother him. I leave him alone. I want him to just learn on his own without anybody bothering him. And I think he's doing a pretty good job. It doesn't have to be perfect. And uh, it'll help him out, give him a little bit of a trade, maybe some work he can do here and there. So for lunch today, Mel and I went to Chooks to Go. Can you see that right there? Chooks to Go it is just a a lot of, now a lot of you already know what it is, but it's just a chicken, roasted chicken rotisserie franchise that's all around the Philippines that they do these different roasted chickens. We got the one that's spicy. It was actually really good, but I still put Tony's on it. Gave it that extra kick. Yeah, and I like it. Um, also, we munched down on good old mango. And guys, I've told y'all about my water tank up on top of the roof right here. Uh, this is from my solar 12 volt water pump down in the well. It's a submersible pump. It pumps a little small column of water through a tube about the size of this piece of steel right here. If you have a big pipe on there, you have to push a huge column of water up and that water is heavy. But with a small tube, you're only pushing a small column of water up. But over time, that, you know, it's like a drip. You can lose a lot of water in a drip, right? Well, even that small tube will fill that 300 gallon tank up there up in just a matter of time. And it doesn't have a lot of load on that motor down there in the well then too. So let me show you, this is my gravity fed pressure after we put it up there on, the, you see that? That's some pretty good pressure. See that right there? Good pressure. I'm going to show y'all what pump I'm using out there in that well. Uh, I tried to go back to my purchase history and I couldn't find it. But here it is right here. I'm trying to hold this steady. It's on eBay right there. You see that? 12 volt submersible deep solar well alternative solar battery power powerful let me tell you what i've had good luck with this thing 